Right, Shalom. First, I'd like to make uh, or give all praise unto Yahweh Sham Yahweh Shai, and double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and honors to you brothers out there in the highways and the byways teaching this word in all sincerity and in truth. You know, Shalom to you brothers out there that's listening and learning, and to the few sisters. And I just want to um, respond to this comment. It says, "Could you make a video teaching us how to prepare? What we should, what should we be doing with our money?" We have now if it's not gonna have value we stack food supplies now it has an expiration date do you have a video on how it will be for us in that day well I mean ultimately the preparation that we're making is in the spirit as it is written lay up your treasures in heaven you know ultimately the preparation we're making is um he is um, being humble and submitting ourselves unto the truth and believing in the Son of the Heavenly Father, which is Yahweh Shai, which is remission of sins, that He may reward unto us life, because life and death is in His hand, regardless of any preparations you may make in this physical realm. The judgment of life of death is with the Lord, point blank. Period. So, the the the, the preparations we make is um the workings of our faith that's the preparations we're not like these truthers out there that with the bug out bads and you know storing up water and all this stuff we don't have to we don't have to worry because we lay all our worries on Yahweh Sham Yahweh Shai on the father and the son and and um they will they is he not written to be the savior um now in terms of the money i mean you know the scriptures say use the world but not abusing it so I mean if you want to buy gold you want to buy silver you want to utilize those markets to your gain so to speak in this present time that's fine but like I said in the time of Jacob's trouble trouble if the spirit of the Lord ain't with you your silver your gold is useless to you so all those things are, are vain ultimately in regards to salvation the main thing we have to um consider is that we have to have faith in Yahweh Shem Shai in the fact that he can do all things and he can preserve us in that day point blank period you know um, as it is written in the scriptures be still and know that I am the Lord know that he is Yahweh and know that Yahweh Shai is his son you know in the midst of the storm he can make it calm for you all right now I want to bring out a couple um, instances in the scriptures where the Lord has shown his power. I mean let's not forget the fact that when we were coming out of Egypt we had our backs to the water man and we were outflanked and outmanned or outgunned so to speak by Pharaoh's army and the Lord um, he parted the sea for us to walk on dry land so I mean yeah there's a as an element of preparation in this carnal world but ultimately man with Yahweh Shami Yahweh Shai there's no preparation necessary unless the Lord have commanded it now this is the book of Exodus um, 16 and 1 it says and they took their journey from Elam and all the congregation of the children of Israel came unto the wilderness of Sin which is between Elam and Sinai on the 15th day of the second month after they departing out of the land of Egypt and the whole congregation of the children of Israel murmured against Moses and Aaron in the wilderness. And the children of Israel said unto them, Would to God we had died in the, in, uh, sorry, by the hand of the Lord in the land of Egypt, when we sat by the flesh pots, and we did eat bread to the full. For ye have brought us forth into this wilderness to kill this whole assembly with hunger. Which a lot of um, our people are going to die by way of famine. That's already recorded in the scripture. Yes, then said the Lord unto Moses, Behold, I will rain bread from heaven for you, and the people shall go out and gather a certain rate every day, that I may prove them whether they will walk in my law or no. So the Lord actually, you know, sent bread from heaven to feed them. And also the Lord also sent coins, um, sorry, quails. Um, Exodus 16 and 13, and it came to us that at even the quails came up and covered the camp, and in the morning the Jew lay round about the host okay and um the point i want to show is the lord also sent quails 
for them to eat. So, the, uh, you know, we ain't got to worry, man. You know, the, the, the ones that believe in the Lord and trust in him, uh, that trust will not fail. And at the end of the day, our trust doesn't rely on our own physical preparation. Our trust relies on his power. Okay. Um, I want to show you another instance in the scriptures, Judges 15 and 17. And it came to pass when he had made an end of speaking that he cast away the jawbone out of his hand and called that place Ramath Lehi. And he was sore a thirst and called on the Lord and said, Thou hast given this great deliverance into the hand of thy servant, and now shall I die for thirst and fall into the hand of the uncircumcised. But God clave an hollow place that was in the jaw, and there came water thereout. And when he had drunk, his spirit came again, and he reviled, revived. Wherefore he called the name thereof En Hakore, which is in Lehi unto this day. So we see the Lord can provide all these things. Um, you can read the, the whole um, chapter of 1 Kings 17 on 1. Okay, with, with the woman and, and the vessels. The oil I believe and same thing with 2nd Kings 4 and 1 all right you know um, you can read the whole of that chapter and there's I mean various um, examples in the scriptures where the Lord delivered his people or his prophets from hunger and from thirst from the sword the Lord it is in the power that the, the hand of the Lord to deliver you man regardless now this is Luke 12 and and seven it says but even the very hairs of your head are not all numbered fear not therefore ye are of more value than many sparrows also i say unto you whosoever shall confess me before men shall the son of man, man confess before the angels of god but he that denieth me before men shall be denied before the angels of god and what does that mean if you if the son of the heavenly father denies you that means you're going to be held accountable for your sins and you're going to be destroyed but if the lord if, if the lord if yahweh shy um, um uh, confesses you then you shall be redeemed and you shall be protected you know the lord will have mercy on you and the lord has various ways he can do that he, he's not restricted by by this world okay this is um Isaiah 65 and 13 this therefore thus saith the Lord God behold my servant shall eat but ye shall be hungry behold my servant shall drink but ye shall be thirsty behold my servant shall rejoice but ye shall be ashamed okay so the Lord is going to provide for those which are of his okay however he decides to do that we don't have to worry about like i said bug out bags and prepping and all that kind of stuff it's not necessary because we then then you start relying on that on the arm of flesh rather than relying on the power thereof okay this is about faith this is about believing in yahweh Shami al shai that he can do all things and the lord is going to show that he can do all things man once and for all and and the vessels for that is the elect we're going to be saved from 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 um <laughs> some serious tribulation this is psalms 33 and 18 it says, behold the eye of the lord is upon them that fear him which is beginning with the elect and upon them that hope in his mercy because ultimately this thing ain't just the like see these preppers are not looking at it from a form of mercy from the heavenly father they're looking at it from there's from a secular um, point of view or there's just going to be a, a, um, a famine or whatever and I'm going to prepare I'm going to basically they're trying to save themselves but ultimately we're not we're not trying to save ourselves through our, our works of our hands but through faith in Yahweh Shai you know what I'm saying so so at the end of the day our hope is in his mercy and through his mercy we shall eat and through his mercy we shall drink and through his mercy we shall be delivered from from um from sin okay it says to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine so <laughs> there's there it is okay so we ain't gonna worry about that our soul waited for the lord he is our help and our shield for our heart shall rejoice in him because we have trusted in his holy name see we're not going to be delivered because we was yo you were smart enough to start prepping and get a bug out bag we're going to be delivered simply because it is the sanction of the son of the heavenly father man and, and that's a point that's that's it 
Okay, let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us according as we hope in thee. So our hope is in Yahweh Shire. Now, if any, if there's any preparation we make, we prepare our hearts and we pre prepare our souls to receive him. And with that, I'm going to say Shalom.